So my name is Dr. Sophie Yacoub. Uh, I'm the head of dengue research at the Oxford University Clinical Research Unit in, in Vietnam. My area of research is on dengue. Uh, dengue is a, a, a viral infection that is spread by mosquitoes, uh, Aedes mosquitoes, which are day-biting mosquitoes. Uh, dengue causes a, a, a sort of self-limiting viral infection where people have high fever um, and feel uh, like body aches and headaches uh, for about seven days. Most people recover, but a minority can go on to get severe disease, which can be life-threatening. To improve clinical outcomes in dengue are, uh, first of all, to identify patients earlier who are at high risk of developing severe disease, also being able to monitor patients uh, more closely and developing potential therapeutics because there are currently no drugs uh, to treat dengue with. So an exciting area of research that's just starting in uh, Okru is using innovative technology to monitor patients with dengue and predict those who will go on to get severe disease. And we're using uh, innovative bioengineering uh, devices, working with groups in Imperial College London and King's College London and Oxford University to develop wearable devices and then use the information from those to support clinical decision support systems to see if we can improve on how we can predict patients who will go on to get severe disease. There have been a number of important discoveries in the past five to ten years. Uh, some include understanding the sort of immunology uh, underlying uh, why some patients get severe disease um, and also improving uh, vaccines. So we have one vaccine that's licensed for dengue, however, that's only effective in patients who have already seen one of the dengue serotypes, of which there are, are four. So there are, there are different vaccines in the pipeline. Also, there's quite an exciting area of research that's being done by the World Mosquito Programme using uh, Wolbachia, which is a bacterium that infect in, uh, insects, and when you put it into the Aedes mosquito, it can block uh, dengue viral transmission. So that's uh, quite an exciting area of research and also the innovative technologies that we're developing in Okru I think will be an exciting area for the next five years. So the area of research uh, matters not only for uh, Vietnam but also globally. Uh, dengue is continuing to expand uh, across the globe and there are about 100 million infections uh, a year around the world and this is increasing. It's predicted that with climate change, uh, even more countries can become endemic. So it is uh, a huge problem for public health systems around the world, uh, not only in Southeast, Southeast Asia, uh, but globally. So uh, I think it's important to invest in this area of research because currently we don't have any particular therapies or an effective vaccine. And there's a huge gap in, in uh, how we can actually make things better uh, for patients with dengue and control the infection. So all the work that we do in the dengue group uh, at Okru is translational, so from understanding uh, the biological mechanisms of, uh, of severe disease and then targeting that using different therapies. Uh, and also some of the innovative technology that I mentioned uh, using what we know from uh, uh, bioengineering and, and other areas of medicine and applying that to dengue, which is uh, in effect a, a neglected tropical disease. So all the work that we do is very much translatable.